Hey there, it's Lisa Van Ruick here of Bloom Business Development. And today I wanted to share a little wisdom with you because it's Wednesday. Uh, for today, I was feeling a bit, I don't know, rainy day October and I really uh, got a hit to speak from the heart today. So I am sharing three empowering strategies to win huge at work and play that are all based on heart-centered living. So if that sounds good to you, then keep on watching. I think it's, I feel anyway, there's a really big calling to get real in our lives. I, um, I'm not a big small talker. I'm, I'm one of those people that have these incredible conversations uh, shortly after meeting people. Um, I guess that's why I was a bartender when I was younger and work as a coach now. I, I love listening to people's stories and people are comfortable talking to me and it wasn't until very recently that I realized not everybody has these deep, rich conversations and I don't really have any patience for anything but those and that I'm kind of <laughs> on the outside of the norm. And when I was told by very good friends, people I love, cherish, and respect, that I'm the person that allows the, them to really open up and not act like everything's great, life is amazing, and they're rocking every corner of it, that I thought, you know what? This needs to be talked about a lot more. Um, so here we go. So I would argue that we all want to be heard. We all want to feel that we matter. It is a great tether that ties all of us humans together. If you agree, drop a yes in the comments. I believe that the person we need to hear to feel that hears us the most is actually ourselves. Does that make sense? That instead of looking outside and externally looking for validation, that we can turn that inside ourselves and really hear what we need. Bring a mindfulness and an openness to our inner dialogue to say it's okay. So ways of doing this is to get quiet to have thoughtful pauses in your day. Of course, to do a meditation practice. I love mirror work. You wanna work with me, you will be doing mirror work. I love it. Uh, if you are interested in getting my mirror work worksheet, uh, just message me and we can uh, sign you up for the worksheet. It's totally free and it will cause a personal revolution in your life. I promise you that. And the more uncomfortable mirror work feels, honey, the more you need it and the more benefit you will get from it in your life. It has become such an amazing tool for so many people I know and myself. And it's a fun thing for me now. I'll just see a mirror and give myself a wink and a smile and tell myself I look foxy today. And it makes me laugh. And oh my goodness, we just so need to have more fun so much of the time but it creates that space where I can talk and listen and really feel heard and understood so that I can take that clarity and apply it to my life. Make sense? Awesome. So connection happens socially as well. And this is where your three empowering strategies come from because it isn't enough. I mean, human beings need to connect. And while I feel so strongly that we need to connect with ourselves first, we also need to go out and foster meaningful friendships and partnerships and relationships, both professionally and personally. So my number one tip is schedule girl time regularly. If you watch me, you've heard me talk before about the, uh, the head of psychiatry at Stanford talking about how important it is for men to get married to a woman for their health. But for a woman, one of the most important things she can do for her health is spend time with her friends because we connect 
from a way different place. Guys, they connect over activities and sports and stuff like that. But women, we talk and we share and we laugh and we cry together. But we've been getting away from that in a lot of our relationships, living in this space where we need to act like everything is amazing. Well, you know what? Everything isn't amazing for any of us. It doesn't matter how good it looks. So go out, do something fun, share from your heart, laugh and connect. It is so good for your soul. Number two, find your tribe. Okay, if you're watching this video, you are either an entrepreneur, an emerging entrepreneur, a professional woman, and you will benefit so much from finding other women who are in the same place as you with shared values and goals. Find these people and spend time with them. Maybe it's a mastermind that meets once a month. Maybe it's every other month. There are so many groups, Facebook groups, but I highly recommend you find something in person where you get out of the house, you do things a little differently, and you really can connect with people in your area and offer support, referrals, who knows what seeds you're gonna plant and what magic is gonna bloom from those. And my final empowering strategy is, drum roll please, stop playing small. Please stop playing small. <sighs> how many compromises have you made to get to this point in your life? And how many expectations have you lowered to be okay with where you are in your life? Good or great, you decide. Because good, you know, good is a really easy place to hang out. I'm not greedy. I have so many blessings in my life. And while that is a great philosophy and I am all over gratitude and every single one of us should practice it, you need to stop holding yourself down. It is time to embrace your biggest, biggest dreams, personally and professionally. And only you know what those are. You've got to tap into your expectations for yourself and ask for more, okay? Honor your self-care, your sleep, your, um, your health, your diet, all those essential tools that you need to run your show, but don't lower your expectations for yourself. And start seeing yourself like you're up on a movie screen and you're the observer. It takes all the emotion out of looking at your own life. You're looking at yourself like you're watching anyone. And I want you to ask, am I happy with where I am? Am I happy with this relationship I've built with my friend, with my boss, with my coworker, with my distributors, whoever it is, and agree that you are not playing small for anyone ever again. Thank you for watching my Wisdom Wednesday video. If you have any questions, please, please let me know. You can message me here on Facebook. I'm on Instagram at Bloom Lisa, and I have a about a monthly blog at bloomlisa.com with some free downloads and lots of resources. It is October and I have two openings in my coaching program coming up. So if you're interested or you know anyone who can benefit from some business development coaching and some collaboration for some personal or pro professional transformation, bloomlisa.com is a great place to learn more about the people I help, the support that I offer to, to women that are looking to live their biggest dreams and really make a difference. I believe that we are stronger together and that everybody's voice matters. Stop playing small, find your tribe, and schedule some of that girl time. Even get on a plane and go away. Just do something out of the box. Have more fun. Thank you so much. Again, Lisa Van Ruick signing off and until next time.